Hey guys, coming to you with the new Neat Barnet. Hey, hairdressers are open. I thought I'd have to queue for ages. No, I was the first one in. Fantastic, job done. Um, yeah, nice to look less like the Freddie Boswell. Right, yeah, I thought I'd just do a quick one. <clears throat> Um, yeah, because I'm waiting, I've got to finish my day early and I'm waiting for the guys to get back so I can get loaded ready for the morning. On, I did one recently on old vans, and I want to do this one on what I call the jigsaw van. Now, the van, there's, there's Jessica over there, she's lovely, she's the Mark II, but before that was Penny, the Mark I. If we go further back, you'll actually see Penny when I first started, she was the Mercedes, the, um, the shape before this one. Lovely van, super duper. But you know, they, they don't go on forever, do they? So, um, and I thought, well, she got retired before I actually blew that one up. Um, but she was originally when I bought her a jigsaw van. And what I mean by this is, rather than spending 10 grand on a motor, or 15, 20 grand on a motor, sometimes you're better off, say if you've got 10 grand available, buying one for five, six grand, which is fairly tidy, that the body works tidy, the interior's tidy, all that kind of stuff, and then, Every time something goes wrong, replacing it. Now, when I bought um, Penny, she was cheap. She was 5K, but she, she'd done 250,000 miles. But she'd had a new engine 10,000 miles previous. So what I thought was, rather than spending 10K on the motor, I spent 5K on the motor and had 5K put to one side. And sure enough, over about the space of the next six months, the clutch went, the ignition system went twice, because there's two ignition systems on the um, on the sprinters apparently. That was a grand. The clutch about one and a half. The gearbox went. That had to get remodelled. But um, I think a water pump went. But it was never scary. It was kind of like, all right, um, I can't. It didn't ever leave me stranded. And suddenly I couldn't get six gear. So we we scheduled it in to get it all sorted. The long and the short of it is, by the time I'd done everything, I had spent about ten thousand pound on that van. But it had. A new engine, a new clutch, a reconditioned gearbox, a new a new water pump, and new everything. I remember one of the mechanics once opened up the lid of the van, looked inside, and went, "Oi, Brian, come and have a look at this. This is like a jewellery box in here. It was all new, all shiny, and all fantastic." And sometimes, I mean, I almost wonder. The problem you've got is you can spend taking ten k on a van, and the gearbox can still go, and the clutch can still go, and the engine could potentially still go, but if you spend less. And put a bit to one. Sometimes, I'm saying you should. Some, that's a noisy train. Sometimes you might be better off getting something that's maybe not so new, but sticking a little bit in the pot for when it goes wrong. Because the flip side of things is, if you spend all your money on a van, and then the van goes south, and you haven't got any dough left to repair it, the van's off the road. You can't go and earn any money to get your van fixed. You're kind of stuck. So it's something to think about. It, it, buying vans is a tricky thing. I always say, look around, try everything. I did a video on how to buy a van. You know, do your gum tree, do your um, sort of your auto trader. Look at your, look at the dealerships in the area. Weigh it all up, and one should talk to you. One should spring out and talk to you. But it's all a bit of a minefield unless you can afford to go new. And if you can afford to go new, that always scares me. Like Al said he bought his van. It's got about 10,000 miles on it or 6,000 miles on it when he bought it. And it was 10 grand cheaper. And I just can't see the difference between the two. But hey, I'm new to this. What do I all know? So, but that's it. That's just a quick one on jigsaw vans. Hopefully I should get loaded for the morning soon. And I can take care, take money.